are Terrell here, and we're here with CW Thayer. CW, can you give us a preview of like what we got going on? Tell us what everything's about. All right, so real quick, we're doing a nine book series called Legba's Juke Joint. It's a um, exploration of the crossroads myth where you go to the crossroads to sell your soul. And each book is a different character in a different decade making their deal down at the crossroads. And the cool part is each book has an album of original music by the character. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got our uh, newest title, Blood, Guts, and Awesomeness. Basically, it's the story of the apocalypse, but it's every apocalypse happening at the same time. So it's our comedy action horror book. <laughs> <laughs> and then, excuse me. <laughs> our last book is uh, Grace. Basically, it's the story of a young woman who uh, mur gets murdered and becomes a soul collector. Oh, yeah, you never collect enough souls out here, right? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Now, what made you guys decide to hit this specific genre versus, like, I guess superheroes or anything else out here? Uh, you can't out Marvel Marvel, so yeah. why try? <laughs> so we wanted to tell the stories that, that uh, were underrepresented. You know, we wanted a, a book about a uh, strong female character that isn't hypersexualized. She doesn't look like a stripper like the superheroes tend to do. Um, we wanted to, uh, with Legba's Juke Joint, uh, show the importance of blues music and how it affected everything that came after it. Um, and, and, you know, with Blood, Guts, and Awesomeness, that's, that's kind of our low-hanging fruit. That's, uh, you know, you don't have to, um, how do I say this? It's, it's a fun book without having to think too much about it. It's kind of our, our parody of, of the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the apocalypse or the end of the world. Uh, genre so, so uh, not not to compare but almost compared to like hack slash but you guys are doing like music in the apocalypse like hack slash is like famous like uh, right, say, right. like, like um, those kind of fictional uh, killer characters stuff like that right 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 all right sure. so I mean like I'm, I'm really I'm really digging the artwork that I'm seeing so far I mean it definitely caught my eye which brought us over here in the first place um, I mean I guess I mean like like everybody else here I mean you just had a passion from wanting to do comics getting to this this very competitive world. Right, I think there was a hole in the market and we wanted to, you know, kind of fill the hole. You know, we, we see a lot of superhero books, but we don't see as many psychological thrillers right. with characters that are relatable to the average person, you know. Um, with with uh, Legba's Juke Joint, you know, we wanted to um, pay tribute to a lot of my heroes, people like B.B. King and Muddy Waters and Helen Wolf and Robert Johnson all of those guys, and kind of help um, expose the, that, those people and that music to people who might not know anything about it, you know? So, now, uh, something bigger than just another comic book. Right. Now, can you find this, is this just local, or is like oh, no, like we're all... online. Um, we're actually out of Southern California, so uh, everything can be found at ibcomics.com. ibcomics.com. As in ibinlandbluecomics.com. All right, Steph, really appreciate you for taking this time to do the interview with us. I mean, we'll definitely be checking this out ourselves, and we hope you do the same. Thank you.